This is the view that you see when you click the new scene button. You are greeted with the character that is following her head facing the camera and breathing. Let's remove these effects, as they will only get in the way of further operations. Now, let's change one setting that would make sure your GPU and CPU are not needlessly running on the 100%. Make sure that this is selected, as this will sync the game with your monitor. I really dislike this default character. Let's change her to something more pleasing to the eye. Oh my god, what a beauty. Let's add the environment so that our character is not in the void. I'll disable collisions so that when an environment is added she would not collide with it and explode. Let's add a CUA and load an asset onto it, which will become our apartment environment. Selecting this option would open the properties of the object that we are currently adding. Please don't ask me why this is not the default behavior. You can select the same environment as I do here, or any other one of your liking. Remember that you need to select the asset down below, as there can be more than one in a single file. When you load an environment you can end up in a situation like this one here. We are literally outside of the apartment that we've just loaded. I'll move the camera a little and then move the environment as well so that Alice is in the center. You can either move the character or the environment. I prefer the latter and leave character at zero. You can move by grabbing this little arrow that points in the axis you want to change. I've changed the character pose and moved the lights a little bit so that it's easier to see. Now let's add the star of our show, Action List Manager plugin. I'll have Vam and Voxter running side by side. Now just to show what's happening behind the scenes, you can use such a setup as a debugging tool if something is not working as you'd expect. Voxter plugin is not there so let's add it. Always use this method to have ALM and Voxter connected together. Another way is to use a wizard which I'll show in the next episode. Voxter ALM triggers are automatically filled, and you don't need to do it manually. This is true for, on action, on speech, and on state changed, triggers. Select the character you want to talk to and click the active toggle to start the conversation. I've been thinking about our conversations, Von 20. They're always so engaging and exciting, don't you think? I'll hide the Voxter app window as we don't need it for now. Chat can be done inside VAM using ALM. Oh, really? That's music to my ears. You know, I feel like our conversations create this special environment just for us. It's like we're in our own little worlds. You can make the inspector window smaller so that it's not blocking your view while playing. You can close the chat window and reopen it again like that.
Now let's concentrate on the user interface of the ALM plugin itself. Side panels can be closed like that. We don't need them now. Let's create our first action together. The action name is important. It should be simple and easily understandable. AI uses it to determine which action to choose from the given list. Let's fill out the when field that defines the condition for the action execution. Remember about special Marcus. The user would put your name in and dot char will put the name of the character you've chosen for a chat. Now let's fill out the location context. This way the character will know what happened after executing the action. Let's define what happens when the action is executed. The triggers can be set here. I'll choose the pose load so that the character will switch her position as well as the body layout. Let's create more actions, so that the AI has more possibilities to choose from. Switching between defined actions can be nicely done using BEM side panel. To open it click this B button on the side. The drop down method is still available of course, but BEM gives a nice overview. I'll copy the triggers from the first action, so that I don't need to search for them again. Defining triggers always gets on my nerves. Let's choose a different pose for this action. Now let's quickly define our last action, just for the sake of it. I don't have the pose preset for this last action, so let's create it. This toggle here is very important. It defines if you want to save the location of the character, or just the pose. I'll save the location as well, so that the character comes back to the middle of the room. I'll test if the actions are doing what they should. I'll run VAM and Voxta side by side again to show you how Voxta see or doesn't see actions defined in ALM. Here's how you open the inspection panel in Voxta app. As you can see, even though I've defined three actions in Action List Manager, Voxta does not report that any one of them is available. This is the desired behavior even though beginners don't understand why. Imagine that all actions you've defined are available all the time. This would not be that great as maybe some of them should be allowed only under certain conditions, maybe some should unfold as the story progresses. It's important to have control over what's available, and what's hidden. I'll leave you with these thoughts for now, and simply allow all actions we've created marking them as global. As you can see this immediately made the action visible in Voxter app.
let's add the rest as well. Now let's test if the new actions are being executed while talking to our character. Oh, I'd love to. It's As you can see, the action is properly chosen and executed. It's logged in the chat so that you know what's happened. I'll show you how it looks in the ALM chat view. The full chat window shows available actions as well. If you want to debug then use that version. Action execution is properly logged here as well. This concludes this tilde. Thank you all for watching.